Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 25. Today I bring you a Week 13 matchup against the 5 and 6 Baltimore Ravens. The Black Knights on a bit of a run here. We sit at 8 and 3 in first place in our division. We just knocked off the Patriots last week, and this week we have a struggling Ravens team. As here we are in M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, as we look to continue our winning streak. And the big question coming into today is who is going to be starting at quarterback? Are we going to stick with Kirk Cousins or do we hand the reins back to the freshly off the injured list? Johnny Manziel had a bad injury early in the season. Cousins has come in, sparked this winning streak. As here you see Dennis Pitta on the long pass as he beats the defender. 49 yards on that reception. But you'll see who will be starting shortly. But first, the Ravens driving here. In their first possession, Steve Preston with the reception takes it down to the 17 on that 16-yard reception. So first and 10, the pitch to Ray Rice, and he's going to have nowhere to go here as Jonathan Cyprin steps up for the tackle in the backfield. So second and 15, Joe Flacco looking to throw, going to find Rice out of the backfield. He is going to pick up a lot of those yards back and more, setting up a third and two. Flacco under center from the nine. Ray Rice with the handoff, and he is easily going to pick up that first down as he has a huge hole to run through all the way down to the two. So first and goal from the two. Rice with the carry, and Rice walking into the end zone for the touchdown. So the Ravens strike first. They lead seven to nothing. And here you see him. Johnny Manziel is your quarterback. It was a very tough decision because Kirk Cousins has played absolutely out of his mind the last few weeks, leading us to, I think, five consecutive victories. But I felt like we invested quite a bit in Manziel. He led us to the Super Bowl last year. He had a rough couple games to start the season before he got hurt, but we got to give it back to him, see what he can do. The talent he has, throwing the ball and being able to use his legs is something that we just cannot keep off the field. So we will go with Manziel, but he does not have a very long leash. As here you see third and five, looking to throw that pass, and that falls incomplete. So we have a quick drive there as we are forced to punt. But if he is not doing well, I have no reservations throwing Cousins back in there as Kurt has played absolutely awesome so far this year. So we'll see how this game goes. But now the Ravens back across the 50 once again. Dennis, Dennis Pitta with the reception there. He's got 65 yards already, not even to the end of the first quarter. Second and 12 here, last play of the first quarter. And the sack, Dwayne Gratz coming off the edge for the sack. So a long third down play here for Joe Flacco. He is going to look to throw, and he has got somebody. Dennis Pitta with the catch, and he keeps his feet in bounds. His fourth reception for 85 yards as Ravens' drive continues. And the Black Knights defense looking like they're in trouble here. Second and four, the pass, and is going to be dropped. The pressure put on by Bradley Roby, so third and four. Flacco from shotgun, three wide receivers set, looking to throw across the middle, and he's going to find Moncrief for the first down. 16 yards on that reception, setting up a first and goal. It's now second and goal at the one from shotgun. Flacco looking for somebody. Nobody's open. He throws, finds Smith, but he drops the ball. So third and goal now from the one. What an easy touchdown dropped. Hester, the fullback, gets stuffed at the goal line. Jonathan Seipert with the huge goal line stop, and the Ravens are forced to kick the field goal. So here come the Black Knights. Justin Blackman with the nine-yard reception, setting up a third and one. Manziel standing strong in the pocket, throws nearly intercepted through that right to the linebacker. Did not see him at all, so we are forced to punt yet again. So a slow start for Johnny Manziel as he looks to shake off the cobwebs from the injury stint. Now the Ravens here on offense, second and 13, Flacco the pass to Devon Best, and he fumbles the ball, and unbelievable, we cannot recover it. Two guys had a chance to get this one, as you see the hit put on by Dwayne Gratz. The ball bounces just right to where the first guy misses it, and the second guy misses it as well, so the Ravens recover. So now third and 16, Flacco looking to keep this drive alive. McClellan with the pressure. And the bad pass and this is going to be picked off by Demetrius McRae as he was just sitting there waiting for that one. Times the jump perfectly, picks it off and runs it all the way back past the 40. Flacco pushes him out of bounds, so a huge play for the Black Knights defense. As Manziel now with another chance to get the offense going, going to complete this pass to Ace Sanders. No excuse, we cannot get both feet in bounds, so incomplete. Another third down here facing another quick three and out. Johnny Manziel 
throwing, gonna find a Sanders for the first down here as he gets both feet inbounds on that 19 yard reception. So first and 10, we finally made it past the 50 here with just under five minutes to go in the second quarter. Manziel gonna find a wide open Mercedes Lewis, picks up a nice block there on the edge. And he's gonna take this one all the way down to the 15 on that 21 yard reception. Now first and 10 from the 15. Manziel from shotgun looking to throw out to the right. Scrambling's gonna take off. Gonna pick up a hard six yards there as it's now going to be second and four from the nine. Just over three minutes to go. Manziel out to the right throws before he gets hit, and somehow Demarius Thomas holds on to that one. So first and goal from the four now. Darren McFadden on the pitch, and he has got some room. Going to beat that last man to the corner. Yes, he is in the touchdown. Darren McFadden, so the Black Knights go into half, down just three. A very slow half you see there. The passing yards, 53, 37 yards rushing. The Ravens, 206 yards passing. So a dominant first half for the Ravens, but here in the second half, first and 10, and the interception here. Bradley Roby picking off Joe Flacco. We are late in the third quarter. We had some dead end drives going back and forth to start the second half. So here we go, picking it up late in the third quarter. The huge interception for Bradley Roby, and for the second time in this game, we look to convert that turnover into points. On third down, though, Sanders cannot pick up the first down, so out comes Scobie for the field goal, and the long field goal is going to be good. And we have a tie ball game, 10 to 10. The Ravens now looking to recover Flacco on second and five, thrown across the middle, and Jonathan Cyprin with the interception. Consecutive drives, we pick off Flacco. Cyprin running it back here, Flacco making the tackle. And what a turnaround here for the Black Knights defense. Darren McFadden with the handoff pitch. He is going to pick up five yards on that play, setting up a third and four as we look to put some points up off the turnover yet again. Manziel taken up here using the legs, nearly gets into the end zone, but takes gets taken down at the two. So first and goal from the two. Manziel looking to throw, going to find a wide open A. Sanders for the touchdown. So third turnover created and the third drive that we get points off of those turnovers. So a huge swing as we now lead 17 to 10. We're now in the fourth quarter and the Ravens who have dominated this entire game now find themselves down 17 to 10. Flacco looking to turn it around here. Devon Bess with the catch holds on after the big hit put on now second and two. As we're just over nine minutes to go, Ray Rice up the middle, gonna pick up a first down here on second and two, setting up a first down, now second and 10. Flacco from the shotgun, three wide receivers. Flacco looking to throw, gets the pressure and the amazing diving catch by Steve Preston. What a grab from him, holding on to that one, setting up another first down here, now inside the 30. Flacco looking to throw, going deep, has somebody there, nearly intercepted, the ball is dropped. So Flacco avoids his fourth interception of the game. Now second and 10, Flacco gonna get taken down here. Tracy Porter, the backup corner, comes in from the side and puts the big hit on Flacco there. So now third and long, another third and long play for the Ravens. Flacco looking to convert and he is gonna do just that. Steve Breston beats his man in the perfect pass. Flacco fits it right in there. And just in stride, Breston runs right to the end zone. So now tie ball game once again, third down. Manziel converts that third down. So with just under five minutes to go, the Black Knights looking for one last drive to get the win here. Another third down, third and three, just over four minutes to go. Manziel gonna get another first down. Mercedes Lewis with the catch holds on for the first down. So first and 10 from the 48. Empty set here, Manziel. Another completion to Aberderis. He is going to pick up another first down to the 40. So now from the 40, 254 to go. Manziel, four wide receivers just waiting for the clock to wind down as we look to get this game winner here. Manziel off to the right, going to throw all the way across the field. What a risky pass, but he finds Demarius Thomas. Somehow he catches the ball in front of all those purple shirts. So now here we are in field goal range, and all we need to do now is waste some clock. Darren McFadden on second and long, picks up seven yards, so third and six. Deion Lewis gonna be taken down in the backfield, and the Ravens gonna smartly call a timeout, so with a minute 16 to go, Scobie on for the field goal, hits the field goal, so the Ravens now with a minute and 13 to drive down the field, tie the game or win it. Here we go, first and 10, Flacco from shotgun. 
going to throw, gets the pressure, and Paul Pozlesny running down the field with Ray Rice, bats the ball down. So now second and 10, Flacco to throw. Flacco looking, can't find anybody open, and he is going to get taken down. Actually ends up with a two-yard gain, but the Ravens forced to call their second timeout. So 50 seconds to go. One timeout left for the Ravens. They have a long way to drive here to get into field goal range. And again, the pressure getting put on by the Black Knights defensive line. Flacco just throws that one into the ground. So here we go, fourth and eight. This is it. Flacco looking. Flacco throwing. Pitta with the catch. Takes the hit and drops the ball. What a defensive play. Pitta, who has played amazing in the first half, cannot come up with the grab, and that is going to do it. The Black Knights, 139 yards passing, 68 yards rushing. They get completely dominated in this one, but we somehow pull out the win, and it's going to be the turnovers. We turn those three turnovers into all of our points. Flacco, one TD, three interceptions. Johnny Manziel does not play too great, but did not turn the ball over, and that is all you can ask for. McFadden, a tough game on the ground, 12 carries for 42 yards. Steve Breston leads all receivers with 95 yards, highlighted by that beautiful touchdown catch and run he had in the fourth quarter. On defense, Cypern with three tackles for loss, McClellan and Ballard with two sacks apiece, and then the secondary, Roby McRae and Cypern with interceptions each. So we win again. Manziel continues the streak. It was not a pretty win, but it was a win nonetheless. We will continue to monitor the QB situation. If Johnny cannot turn things around and continues to struggle like he did earlier in the season, I have no problem putting Kirk back in. So we will see how we do next week in Week 14. We face off against the Houston Texans, a team that is struggling, but it is a division game, so you know it's going to be a tough one. So you will see that next time. That is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.